Argus, let's see how we can solve question 15 from the seventh chapter of the Hibbler textbook in geomechanics. And in this one, we need to determine the internal normal force, shear force, and the moment at point C. So as always, we're gonna start with uh, the free body diagram of the whole system. So we have this beam that has a distributed load and we have a pin at point B, which means we have both X and Y components, BX, BY, call this our X and Y. We have rocker at point A, which means we only have Y component. And we have this distributed force, which is a right triangle. So basically for the magnitude of the force, uh, we're going to have the area of this right triangle. And we know it's going to, the centroid would be somewhere in here, which is two thirds of the whole base to the left. So we can see that the base of this right triangle is six meters. So the left side would be one third of six and it will be two thirds to the other end of the beam so four on this side and two meter on the left side so that's where the force is applying you can show the distance here four meter and the magnitude as i said we have six times the base which is six divided by two so that's going to give us 18 kilo newton and that's pretty much all the forces that we have in here so we can find the unknowns in here and after that we can do our section at point c we can either pick the left side or right side it seems that the right side is a bit easier since we're going to deal with this right triangle if we go with that part but regardless we need the reactions at b so let's find bx and by first so if you do sum of all forces in x direction, we are in equilibrium. So sum of all forces equals zero and same for the moment. Uh, that means our bx is actually zero. And if we do the moment about point a, uh, we should be able to our by. And after this, uh, we should be good to go to go with the free body diagram of the uh, red part of the beam that I show in the figure. So uh, we know this part is also two meter so we're gonna have the moment of by if we look at it it's gonna make a counterclockwise moment about a so by times the length is six we have the moment of the distributed force which is going to be a clockwise moment so negative 18 times uh this distance of two meter equals zero this two will be cancel out our by would be six kilonewton we did not get any negative sign that shows that the direction for by is correct so now i have all the reactions at b we can go with the free body diagram of uh, this section of the beam we have no bx we have by which was six kilonewton now we have a different distributed force but this time this side would be since we are in the middle exactly so this side of the triangle is six which means this side would be actually six divided by two or three so now we have to find the area of this uh right triangle one side is three and the base is also three so the force would be somewhere in here again one third to point c we know the length is three meters, so it will be one meter to the left side or two meter to the right side. And the force would be the height of that right triangle, which we found is three. The base is also three and kind of divided by two. So this is going to be 4.5 kilonewtons. And we need to show the forces that we are trying to find at point C. We have a normal force, have a shearing force, and we have the moment or the bending moment. So let's do sum of all forces in x equals zero. If we do that, we'll figure that there is no normal force since there is only mc in x direction we do sum of all forces in y equals zero we're going to have six minus 4.5 minus vc equals zero so our vc would be 1.5 q 
hill on it. Mm. No negative sign that shows the direction for VC is correct. And last one is the bending moment, which we're going to do the moment about point C. We're going to have MC, which is counterclockwise, plus the moment of our distributed force is going to be clockwise, so actually it will be negative. So negative 4.5 times the distance is 1. And we have the moment of 6 kilo, which is counterclockwise, so positive minus 6 times 3 equals 0, or our moment would be 18 plus 4.5. Uh, sorry, the moment of 6 kilo is in this direction, so it's counterclockwise. This is actually positive. So MC would be actually 4.5 minus 18, which is going to be minus 13.5 kilo meter. And the negative sign shows that our assumption was not correct. And the moment is actually clockwise. And that would be the last unknown that we were trying to figure out and the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see you in the next one